Hey, man, what's in the bag? Ah, sixer. You owe me one, man. Yeah. What's up, PME family, and welcome back to the channel, Physical Media Empire, at PME Film. I'm Patrick, and I hope you guys are all doing well out there in this crazy world, as always. So today we are back for some more MTG, some Magic the Gathering. I got my Ajani playmat out, which I did for a lot of my early videos in the channel. When I was starting out, I pretty much used it for all of them. Uh, put it away for a little bit and brought it back, so pretty cool. Thought you guys would enjoy. And you can see we got our buddy Hammerhead here hanging out. He's waving to you guys, so he's another creature you'll find in the Mos Eisley Cantina. You will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. I'm sure you guys are familiar. So today we are back for some more magic. We got some Commander Legends we're going to crack. And check this out, huh? Core 2019 pack. So talk about a kind of a weird thing where a core set has gone up in value. I've noticed online that the sealed boxes for 2019 are now like some people are wanting almost 140. Uh, so it was a pretty good set. There was a Bolas card uh, and some other good pulls. So we're going to crack that open. And of course... Good old Ikoria. So we got ourselves what I'm going to call a magic six-pack. We're going to leave the core set and the Ikoria for last. And we're going to start with checking out the Commander Legends. We're hunting for those top three cards, right guys? While you're checking out the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that little button for subscribing and the little bell for notifications. That way you'll never miss another PME release or giveaway. So here we go, guys. Commander Legends. Great set. Um, you know, even though Kaldheim right now is the newest set, and I do think it's a lot of fun and it's got some great artwork, I still find Commander Legends just to be more exciting to open. I just think the hunt for those top three cards uh, is kind of where it's at right now. So we're getting through the commons here. Ooh, Terramorphic Expanse, good land. Into our uncommons. Alright, so Blasphemous Act is for our first rare. And followed by a foil. No, that's not foil. Okay. Looked foil on the camera for a minute. Another rare. Blim, Comedic Genius, Legendary Creature Imp. And there's our foil, I guess, Victimize, and a Piper. Wow, lots going on in that pack. If you guys saw one of my earlier uh, Commander Legends openings, there was a three-pack, one of the draft packs from Walmart that I opened, where all three of the packs uh, had two Prismatic Pipers each, which I really thought was kind of crazy. At the time, I had just started opening Commander Legends, so I was like, uh, is, I kind of thought for me, I'm like, wait a minute, ooh, there he is, there's the man right there. I was like, does each pack supposed to have two of these? So, very interesting, it turns out it's not, so it's just kind of like one of those weird off things in Magic you'll get from time to time. Sometimes I've opened booster packs where cards are upside down, or commons and uncommons are in different slots, and if you saw my Zendikar Rising box video, I had a lot of foil miscuts as well. Not the heaviest miscuts, but they were all miscut at the top, which I thought was pretty cool because it led me to believe that they might be all from the same sheet. Alright, so Protege for the rare. Come on. Legendary. And a foil. And a treasure token. Alright, so nothing from the big three yet. We got two more packs of Commander Legends here. Some of these packs are more difficult to open than others. I will definitely say that. Oh, there's one I don't see very often, even though it is a common. I don't think I've pulled that one very much. It's so funny with a set like that, how you can open a lot of packs over time, and you think you've pretty much seen all the cards in person, and then all of a sudden you open one, even if it's a common or uncommon, and you're like, wow, I don't, I don't think I've ever even seen that card. Still find it pretty interesting. Well, I have this, I pulled this in borderless foil, which was pretty nice. Come on, top three. Where's that mana drain? Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> yes! Oh yes! Woo! Oh man, I'm so glad. Oh, that is... Oh, let's do a, another Ric Flair. Woo! I can't believe it! 
Man, I asked for a mana drain. I pulled a freaking jewel lotus. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hammerhead, you are my new go-to buddy. Where's some good lighting? Over by Tempest. Yes! Man! That is the second... Oh, look at that. Speaking of the Piper, that is the second Jeweled Lotus that I have cracked on camera with you guys. There was one other one that I cracked, so yes, it's been three. Uh, foolishly opening a pack that I wasn't taping for a video. Holy cow, I'm super excited. Alright, well, maybe now I'll get the mana drain I asked for. That would be kind of pushing it, don't you think? Forceful Denial. Man, pretty awesome. Move my thumb there, get Hammerhead in. He's waving to you guys. He's pretty excited. He's definitely coming back for a video or two. My new lucky guy. Oh, see? I think I mentioned that, too. Speaking of upside down... Ooh, man, does that mean something really good's gonna be... Oh, jeez, again. Huh. What an interesting video to catch with you guys. And there you go, another card that I don't hardly ever pull. I don't even know if I've seen that, uh, that card yet. So, pretty cool. Court of Bounty for my rare and enchantment. Got a legendary, and a legendary, and a foil runaway together in the Monarch. Ooh, people in the Flesh and Blood community know what's going on with that, huh? Monarch coming up in April? Alright, that's it. That's all I'll say. Alright, so here we go. What do you think? Which one first? Yeah, Ikoria. We'll save the Core 2019 to round out the show. Ugh. Well, that pack just kind of didn't open very well. Speaking of cards you never see, I've opened more Ikoria than is far necessary for any human to ever do, and believe it or not, there's one card that I have never, ever, ever pulled, and it is the Fiend Artisan. So, wouldn't that be something? Besides, like, two of the Godzilla cards as box toppers or collector packs, that's literally the only card I have not pulled, is the Fiend Artisan. So, let's see how my luck does on that. Whoa! But we will take a Vivian Monsters Advocate Mythic. Freaking sweet, huh? And that's actually one of my favorite Planeswalkers. That is actually in like three of the decks that I play with on Arena. Uh, always kind of incorporate this card in the last couple months because of how awesome it is. So that is just pretty cool too. We need some good lighting. That ring light kind of blasts out the card sometimes. And a foil shimmerer and a tranquil cove and some tokens. And man, I am just excited all together. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. We're going to round it out with this 2019 pack. Like I said, if you haven't taken a look, go ahead and take a look at some of the online stores that you use or your local LGSs and check out the price of a sealed box of Core 2019. If I'm not mistaken, they are now in the 125 and up range. So that is pretty interesting for a core set. I really liked 2021 because I'm a sucker for dogs. Uh, but this was also a darn good set. Here we go. Plague Mare. Horizon Scholar. Ooh, Chaos Wand for a rare artifact. Very nice. Very nice. And a good old plummet. Somebody's got a flying creature. Too freaking bad. Wow. What a cool video, guys. I'm really excited that I was able to share these pulls with you. Um, I will now be adding... Let me see. One, two... So this is this will be the third Jeweled Lotus to the Physical Media Empire collection. I'm pretty excited about that. Take another look here. Centering actually looks pretty good. I don't see any marks. Wow, a little ding in the corner there possibly. It looks like a little slight imperfection. Uh, but a very nice card. And a very... I don't know why it can't be foil though. That's the one thing I haven't pulled is a foil lotus. 
but still, I am definitely not going to complain. So, definitely. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Once again, guys and gals, thanks for sticking around. Hope you all enjoyed the content. Check out the page, at PME Film, for all sorts of stuff coming up and giveaways. A little sneak peek. Oh, that's right. A little sneak peek before we go. Oh, dropping things everywhere. Hope you guys enjoyed the old school wax packs videos that I did for the Ninja Turtles and the Nintendo. So check these out. Huh? Got my hands on some Fright Flicks packs. I totally forgot these even existed. Yes, they have the bubble gum. Yes, I'm going to be doing a video to share with you guys. I got these from my buddy Wayne at Metal Goblin Games in Massachusetts. You can check him out on Facebook. That's Metal Goblin Games. He's pretty awesome. Hooks me up from time to time when he finds some pretty good stuff that he knows that I'd like to share with you guys. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And as always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> Blood out.